Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their spiritual awakening or their ascension process. Today I'm going to talk about earth angels. It's a fun new term I was, I've was i been learning about recently and I wanted to make a video about it because a lot of you guys are earth angels. And what I mean by that, an earth angel is sort of a broad term for light worker, star seed, indigo, crystal, wanderer, etc. Essentially an earth angel is a soul that chose on purpose to incarnate here now at this unique time in history while the, while the planet is going through a massive shift in frequency and consciousness. The earth angels came here to spread, as, to, to bring as much of the divine as possible as they could possibly squeeze out and express out of their physical vehicle to help rub off on people so that m mo as many people as possible can ride this ascension wave that the planet is on regardless of who's going to try to catch the wave or not. The earth angels are here to kind of help as many people come as possible by simply spreading their light. But first, they have to find their light within themselves. That's kind of the unique journey of the earth angel. A lot of them come in and they completely forget their mission, what they, why they came here, and they get lost in the craziness of the earth realm and all the different challenges. Many earth angels have chosen challenging situations, I believe, because once they come out of it, they'll have much more of an ability to shine and help other people. Um, so anyway, a lot of a lot of earth angels right now are just starting to wake up to why they came here, and this video is designed for you. Number one is they are really sensitive to everything. It's commonly spoken about, you know, the empaths and the earth angels and the light workers are very sensitive to other people's emotion, emotions and other people, but they're sensitive to everything. Their physical body is sensitive to most things. You might find yourself where you're sensitive, really sensitive to caffeine, drugs, food, like a, if you have like a food intolerance for you, it's experienced in a very like over the top obnoxious way. A lot of them are like gluten intolerant, don't really do well with meat and dairy, that kind of thing. I know growing up I was like that where I can see now so many of my like issues was because I was so incredibly sensitive and I still partook in all the different uh earthly pleasures and it just affected me in a very negative way so it's just sensitive on all levels which for a while when you're lost when you're a lost little earth angel not really knowing just kind of going with the rhythm of life uh, as you see it it's like you wonder why you're always so like at like uh, there's such a sense of like unease and, and discontentment and agitation well as you wake up to your earth angelness you'll start to become even more sensitive initially seen as unfortunate but you'll start to be compelled to to rid yourself of all the different things that make you not feel happy and as you do so you'll be like oh you'll just blossom into your energy and that sensitivity will become a massive gift to you number two is you have very strong powerful strong instincts very good keen intuition your gut feeling is always right you might have ignored it from time to time to your own and now you probably look back and kick yourself for it but your intuition by now has already proven itself to be a very worthy source of guidance even though oftentimes it will conflict with what your mind would have you do trust that go with that the intuition is sort of like your compass needle north your compass needle out of the shell that you presently allowed yourself to be cloaked in and blossom into the angel the the bearer of light that you came to be and express you will be guided in that direction with through your intuition which your intuition comes from a higher place a higher higher aspect of your consciousness translated by your physical body as a gut feeling go with it Number three is you might have been told this, you consider yourself this, you resonate with the idea of being an old soul. And what I mean by that is not some necessarily it's to age your soul. It's that you possess a lot of earthly wisdom that would normally require you to have had certain experiences. But that wisdom is there even though it doesn't make sense why it's there. You have a general intelligence, common sense, wisdom when it comes to a lot of the 
not popular, but common earthly types of struggles. You just have a wisdom about you that helps you avoid a lot of maybe the pitfalls that other people haven't learned in their soul's journey yet. So they're, they're like caught up in these, these wheels and these traps and you just have an intuition that says, no, no, no. Or just a way to, to kind of see between the lines, see, see the greater, the, the broader, greater purpose and picture to the surface level of things. I did my best there to explain into it or uh, wisdom, but I think you know what I mean. You're just a very wise cat, well wise beyond your years. Number four is you have a particular sense of purpose, not a general sense. Like you feel like it's a mystery and you got to find it. And the reason you suspect this and know this is because you probably had times in your life where you're doing something, you're at a job, engaging in some sort of uh, direction or behavior or activity, and you have a weird feeling like this is not right. This is not it. This is not my purpose. I shouldn't be doing this. Who? Who says that? You don't know, but you have that feeling like you shouldn't. I had this feeling when I, and it can be confusing because sometimes what you're doing is like, dude, I like this. This seems like why wouldn't this be allowed? But it's you have a particular little stream, little path, needle in a haystack. You're trying to find the way you're going to find it is by the messages of nope, 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 no way. Ah, you'll know when you find it. And again, it can be very confusing. I had I was a personal trainer for a decade. I really enjoyed it. My heart was in it. I really did enjoy and uh, long to help people, and I was, but it wasn't my purpose. It wasn't it. And I started to feel that very intensely, but it was so confusing because it was like, man, I put my whole life into this. This is like, I was like Vic the fitness guy. Everyone, people who knew me would always ask me fitness questions, I was just that guy. And I was like, what? How can this not be it? I thought that was it, but it wasn't. And I started to feel that incredibly intensely, contrary to the logic and it turns out it wasn't. Doing this is. Number five is you feel really, really good in nature. Not, it's not like, oh, that's pretty. I, I like these trees. This is so beautiful. The mountain, the landscape, oh, the, 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 the way the sun's hitting the leaves. I love the way the leaves look when they fall, the, the season change. No, it's like you, your energy body, your emotional body, your physicalness, feels like, thank God, thank you. Jeez, you've been luring me into all these other situations and, and all these different, uh, into all these things with like, like, like the electronics and TV and busy places and people and any kind of negativity. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Nature is your sanctuary. Nature allows your consciousness, your aura, your energy to expand and spread out. You learn to not let yourself expand because when you open yourself up in normal circumstances, you're what do you what do you bump up against? Someone's bad mood, someone's negative intention, someone's fear, someone's hurt, or just the you know dingy physical manifestations of the fundamental energy of negativity. You like ugh ugh. Uh, so we learn to close ourselves off to protect ourselves because that kind of those kind of bad vibe which are all over the place get us down but nature is the exact opposite you can like just be yourself you can just let yourself be and it feels amazing so if you resonate with this if there's one thing you take away from this go into nature more spend more time just doing nothing in nature and you will feel better on all levels you'll feel more healthy you'll get sick less you'll just be happier Number six is you know what, or you, you get synchronicity. Maybe you don't know what that is. Synchronicity is like weird physical coincidences that contain a message on a very subtle level. You might see a number on a clock. You might see that same number everywhere you look. Maybe you're like getting a new apartment and that number you've been seeing like all the time that's causing you to say, why do I keep seeing 333? Three, three, three? Well, you, you go to get an apartment, it's freaking 333 is the exact address. It's like, holy shit. You, your physical reality will start to mirror your ideal illuminated path to help you go down the right road 
essentially. You'll, you'll get signs. You'll get actual signs, omens, and you'll recognize them as such because they will just make you stop, think to yourself, huh, yeah, okay. It, if you get synchronicity, if you know what that is, you are an earth angel type of dude, soul, etc., you do have a purpose, and you came here to wake up to that. Number seven, and there are varying, there's varying degrees of this. On some level, I would imagine most of you Earth Angels are aware that there is a massive, epic transformation going down on planet Earth right now. If you've been a little bit further along, you know you came here to participate in this this display, this or this divine orchestration, which is an upliftment in, in the frequency and in the in the in the vibration of the collective consciousness, which embodies everything you're experiencing right now. It's changing on a deep fundamental level, but it's not an easy change. It's not an easy transition. Most people aren't aware it's taking place and can very easily get lost. You have come to help people not get so lost to light the way so if you identify with any of these qualities I would say it's not important that you go home and and feel cool that you're like an earth angel that's a word I use to reach people who resonate with what I'm saying I have no concern or care at all about any of the labels this video is to help wake you up to why you came so you can do what you came to do which is gonna make you extremely happy you will you'll be one of the rare souls on this planet that find true peace true real consistent happiness and joy and love and in you doing that and you following your own dreams your own bliss your own journey you're going again to light the way for other people that would have will have more examples of other options a lot of people will get swallowed up with what's going on and you can't blame them because it's not easy to see what it's not easy to see and there's such a momentum of negativity but the more people to light the way the more people will ride the wave so anyway guys I'm gonna peace out and hope this video helped you have an amazing day I'll speak to you soon namaste